and welcome to Enots Engineering. I'm Alan. In today's video I start making a four facet drill grinding jig and this fits onto the Warden tool and cutter grinder. Both of the kits are supplied by Hemingway. This is the jig. We're starting to make the bottom part and then in another episode we'll make the top part. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. So what you get in the kit? You get two sheets of drawings, four sides of instructions, and the steel to make the part, plus a packet of screws. This is a piece of one inch square steel I've set it up in my four jaw chuck central. I want to face the end and drill a hole 1132 diameter by three quarter deep. Let's clean the face. Now centre drill and drill a hole ready for an 1132 reamer. Now ream in the hole. Take this out now. Put back the other end and just face this off. Should be three inches when it's finished. And it's got 70 thou on there, so I can just face this off. The uh, length's not that important. We've moved over to the milling machine and we're going to drill and ream a hole for a brass bearing. This hole will hold a brass pivot bearing. I'm just centre drilling now, then we'll drill and tap the hole for a grub screw. I'm tapping an M5 thread. I made a mistake on this. I'm 
drilled and tapped a hole at three quarters from the end and it should have been a quarter so I've drilled another hole and tapped that. This part now needs a radius on here and it just wants sharp edges taken off and that's finished. The way I'm roughing the radius out is I've scribed the radius on the end and I've put um, a pin through this hole. So now I'm just hold it in the voice and then turn it a fraction and mill till I get the depth that touches the radius. And then pivot it around a little bit, lock the voice and mill again. Just a quick way of roughing the radius out. I put lots of flats on. Now I can go over that with the file and just finish it. We'll now make the feed nut and it's made out of 7 8 mild steel. zero point seven five of an inch Change the tool for an insert. Mm -hmm. 
turned it around and put it back in the chuck. Now this width is, has to be an eighth of an inch. Far off. So on this part, all I've done is drilled and tapped the hole straight through. So that's finished. I'm just making the clamp nut. I've already faced off, drilled and tapped an M4 thread. I'm just doing the taper now. What I've done is parted it halfway through and I want to see how far the taper will come. It's a 15 degree taper. Now before I part that off, I want to go over to the milling machine and put the hole in the side for the handle. I've set it at 15 degrees in the milling machine vise and I've moved in halfway and on centre line. I want to just put a centre drill mark there. Okay, now I'll part this off at the right length. I've turned it round and I'm holding it on the thread to face off the other end. Memory cloth. Put the Tommy bar in, I can unscrew that. And this piece I have in the lathe holding it on is the bearing that I've made before. So today we've made the body which has a hole reamed in this end, hole in this end and a radius on the top. In the body goes a brass piece which is just a piece of brass with hole drilled and tapped all the way through and that grub screw is loctited in the end so that goes through the, the body. What I need to do on that is once I finish the body just machine the length down so it's just a little bit shorter so that when the clamps grip on the side it grips on the body and not the brass. This is just like the hinge. In this end we have a hole into that fits this part just two diameters with a hole through. The diameter here fits into the hole and this diameter is exactly the same size as the hole as well. So that goes into there. 
Then into the end of that is the threaded part. This is a bush with a thread through it uh, and a flat mill on it and that goes into there and this thread is a thread that feeds the drill in and out. And on this side we've got a grub screw there. This one I shouldn't have drilled. It's a, a mistake. So I've now made finished off the brass bush to length and loctited the thread in. I've made this arm here and this one for the other side and this locking nut with a little bar. The Tommy bar is soldered into position. This now goes on to there. The locking nut on the front. These two will come up. And the locking nut locks the arms in position. I've also rounded the tops off on the two arms, but the drawing shows them um, to have a square end. Oh well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope it's useful. Hope it's interesting. We'll continue this next time on Enots Engineering.